Um, currently Sunday morning. We're gonna go to my favorite Starbucks today because I'm tired of Dutch Bros right now. I get it all the time, but yeah, we're gonna go to Starbucks downtown, and then I'm gonna go to the pawn shop. But they don't open till 12, so I'm not sure how we're gonna do that, you guys. Also, I'm getting off like on the wrong place, but. But I was gonna go to the thrift store and then go to the pawn shops to check for at least a microphone if they even sell them Just because I like I'm on a budget, you know a lot of people are on budget. I'm one of them So I'm trying not to spend so much like on camera equipment till I'm ready to upgrade to better things if that makes sense I won't even try to, I won't even lie I'm looking good, I'm feeling nice These hoses can die, well, I won't even try to Also in need of a camera car mount. I don't know how or if I'll ever get that or how people get those things, but they seem kind of difficult to find. I feel like any normal person is on a budget, and if you're not on a budget and you got money, then you need to share with us on what you do because life is hard out here. Oh my god, you guys, literally the best thing ever happened today. And I'm not just being like an over exaggerated like YouTuber, but Starbucks was completely out of all their breakfast sandwiches. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna spend money on a panini, which brought me up to two extra dollars. The barista mentioned sriracha like through third person conversation. And then I asked them if they had sriracha, and they did. These things have been out of stock for a long time. I'm so happy. I'm just gonna. Oh. Ah! So they actually gave me egg whites instead of my panini. But I'm gonna go back and check with them really quick. I'm not upset because they gave me sriracha. But they did give me egg whites instead of a panini. Let's just go right back, right back, right back. And. <laughs> Okay, we're back with the correct order, which is a ham and Swiss panini, but actually before I put the sriracha on, um, they gave me, they let, they were so nice about it, they let me have the egg whites for free, so I'm, I think I'm just gonna try one, because I've actually never had it. It's like, this little pancake thing. Mm. It tastes healthy. I'm not too sure how I like, you know, feel. Would I get it again? No, definitely not. I don't know who ordered the egg whites, but that's not my thing. They were spinach too. So for the panini now, I'm actually going to... Ah! Okay, okay. Let's open the sriracha. I don't know how long these are going to last because people like... So... Get that. The sriracha is honestly so sweet and so like, it's sweet and spicy if that makes sense and it's super good and it's like, it's upset a lot of people that it hasn't been in stock and the only place I could find it was in California where my sister worked at Starbucks. Got me like a few just to like have in stock before they all ran out. And there was a rumor, my friend asked if they like Sriracha and they said that they told her that they were going out like out of stock like stock But that they were Discontinuing them and I was like that's not true. Why would they do that? And it's true. It's not true, but they were out of stock for a while This is still my favorite Starbucks. I like really love how bright it is here 
It looks like it's almost 12, you guys. So I'm gonna start heading to my to the a pawn shop. There's something about driving downtown that always makes me feel like life is just beautiful. I don't know. I just I guess I just really love downtown. It's so full of so much culture and art. It's very different from the rest of Vegas. The rest of Vegas is very boring. Okay, so I just got here. I really don't know if I'll find anything. I'm probably not gonna like vlog in there just because like it's awkward. So I actually didn't see much here at this particular pawn shop. I was looking for some lenses and or an audio thing and I didn't find any so I left. All I really found was some Louis Vuitton bags that nobody can afford. Um, I feel bad for anyone who has to buy a PS5 at that price. I feel bad but I also have a PS5 but I bought it off retail but it sucks that they have to spend double the money just to get a console that everybody is buying just to resell. It does suck. It really does. I felt like this tinge of guilt knowing I had a PS5 and I couldn't sell it to people, you know? Look at that, it looks like my like, French Bulldog. Okay guys, so I went into the Easy Pond downtown and they had exactly what I was looking for. Right, it wasn't overpriced, but I couldn't afford it at the moment. They had two fisheye lens, which I tried both of those lenses on, but <sighs> unfortunately they didn't fit my camera. They were for like a different mount. I saw an audio microphone. It's 150. I don't think it's bad if I had that much money to spend on it, but I think right now I'm just kind of going to go for the budget. Maybe we just go to Best Buy now. Okay, so... I went to Best Buy because I couldn't find anything affordable at the pawn shop. I guess they only sell things that, you know, are worth money. I got this tiny little... I got the tiniest little microphone. It really just me and my camera all the time, so I'm not too worried about upgrading to a bigger one. I think... I feel like I'm always going to want something minimal and small anyway, which is why I got my camera. But uh, it's small and cute. Let's see how it works. Um, maybe I'll switch into it later. And then I ended up getting... UV filter. It's pretty dark too, so I'm hoping that I can use this to shoot in 24 frames per second for cinematic videos because it is polarized and it is darker. So hopefully this will help me a lot with long exposure and everything. This was all budget too, so it all cost me like 60 bucks. Um, which is a lot for somebody with no money, but I know that it is better to invest in quality things So if it doesn't work out then I'm probably just gonna return the microphone and then just keep the ND filter and then go get a better microphone later on So I switched it. I put the mic on I don't know if there's a difference yet But I guess I'll be able to tell when I look at my videos on the computer But um, it does kind of get in the way of me looking at my own face when I'm vlogging So I might just have to go with the one that goes on the top, but we'll see I don't know. Okay, so I'm back at my usual spot. Earlier I was saying how the microphone like flips this way in front of the screen. It actually flips 90 degrees up, so I think I'm just gonna keep it. It really depends on how it sounds now. It's on right now. I don't know how that's gonna sound. But I'm actually really, I'm really excited about this tiny little microphone. It's so cute and I think it's sufficient enough for myself because the Fuji, the Fuji sound on the camera itself, it's honestly pretty good and pretty decent. Obviously it's not made to be stronger. Um, it's just a camera. That's what it can do, but it's really good for it to be just a camera. So I really think it just needs a little boost. And then the ND filter that I got, I had a scare because I forgot that I bent a little bit part of my lens because I'm always like, I'm very a clumsy person, but I got it on so it still works. So that's all the good news I have. Um, I'll see you guys in my next adventures. Hopefully sometime.